Those are all the notes I've received so far? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Writing up notes and stuff. PD station, government owned, controlled area. I'm glad I grabbed everything. Rana Dave, NFS or working for them? Missing person? Yeah, what about the teens that went missing? Wave receiver, they want it back. Who? Site reports, no too much. Delilah lying? Yeah, remember... I mean, like, there's no way Delilah's... I, I seriously doubt Delilah's, like, in on this, really, to any serious degree. Because A, they're being studied, and B, I mean, I guess they could be an actor or something, but <laughs> be damned if they don't sound genuine. However, remember a while ago, Delilah did accidentally leave the radio on and was speaking with somebody else. So... Ah, I don't know. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Great. Don't do that! I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but you gotta live a little. You gotta lie, Hank. No, no, you're right, Dee. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision-making inhibited right now. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Radio off. Yeah. So, guess I'm on my own for now. Uh, I don't think we've written up anything new here. No, still July 16th. It might still... Is, is this still July 16th? Or have I just not written up any personal diary thing? Is this... I guess this is maybe the night that I got back. Or maybe it's the day after. I don't know. Doesn't particularly matter, I guess. Alright, let's go follow it. direction, which is, well, it says southwest, which is, hmm, I wonder how far southwest. It could be at the Medicine Wheel, it could be down around Cottonwood Creek, it could be all the way down to around Five Mile Creek. Let's try the Medicine Wheel first. close. Oh, this is that spot I found that I was thinking there should be something here. Now there is. I guess I found it early, huh? That's the cave key. Uh, that's been missing for years. Shit! What? The fuck? Ah! What the fuck is this? Huh. What the hell 
is going on? I guess now they know I have it, right? S somebody nearby to listen for that, or what? What are you doing over there? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out there. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. What? I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Interesting. Okay, up here and to the right. That's what it was. It was a distraction. That's what the sound was for, so they knew when I'd be gone. They're going to be gone by the time I get back, because they planned that specifically so they could... So they could what? Are they going to take all my evidence? I have some pictures. Somebody want their picture taken? I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. I left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. I see. Trying to blackmail what us. What's on it, Henry? It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah. 
suppose you're right. I know. Why are we heading to the cave, though? I mean, I know we have the key to it. We want to find answers. Okay, but... They left the key for us. The same people that are blackmailing us. If anything, it's a trap. Surely whatever we find there isn't going to help us, right? Did it ever anything new? Yeah, July 17th. I didn't write down more later. The sun's not up yet. I'm exhausted. At daylight, I'm going to head down the cave in the canyon and see what I can find. I don't know what else to say. Really. I know I should probably take extensive notes. Yesterday, I had the thought that maybe I'm not quite right in the head. It just came across... It just came across me for a moment, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't think it for a second. I'm going down into the cave, and I just hope I find something. I don't care what happens as long as I find something. I wonder what will happen if I don't make it back. I'm obviously a little worried about that, and I'm not trying to act tough, but what would actually happen? It's hard to imagine at this stage anybody would notice. Susan, my sister out in Maryland, would eventually get a call and I'd feel bad for not seeing her and the kids for so long. But Julia, it's almost been six months now and maybe it wouldn't even register. Maybe I don't even register. I just felt a little panic there. What if I do register and I just left her alone? Smoke is so thick now. Okay, what's the best way to the cave? Looks like the way I'm looking right now. Wait. Was that the right way? No, it's it's back here where the outhouse is, right? Just checking. You never know. Yeah, this is the right way, right? Yep. <laughs> for a second, for a second, I thought that was blood or something. Nope. Hey, you. You didn't actually make that call, right? To to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Who's behind me? <laughs> Gee, what a surprise! It was a trap. <laughs> Who could have saw that coming? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Can't get any damn reception. Shit. Jesus, this is a big cave. Damn, watch your toes, Henry. Christ. It's 
freezing in here. Is anybody down there? Oh shit. Is that one of the teens' shoes? Basically, had to pop out of the cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Do they not know the caves very well? Like, I'm the people that trap me in there? Did they think that I wouldn't be able to get out? Ooh. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Oh, yeah. Really? Dragons. Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Black Band. <laughs> Go ahead, kill my family. It only makes me stronger. His grief is their sorrow. What just happened to that comic? I thought I just threw it down, but it just like disappeared. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Oh, whoa. Bunch of stuff there. Goodwin. Family Crest. Don't have too many pictures left on this thing. Gotta be careful. Whoa, what is this? An invention? Backpack retrieval plan. Oh, <laughs> that was that backpack that I got with the camera in it. I guess they didn't know a way down to it, so... He's planning this very, very complicated... And probably completely infeasible pulley crank system thing. Damn smart, though. My rope and our camera. Wait. Our camera? Right. I'd be interested- remember when I got the camera, there were already a couple pictures taken on it. I'd be really curious to see those pictures. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. 
It's some wily e. coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just... said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? <laughs> I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. Do I want to read their homework? Mrs. McNamara, 6th grade. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You'd probably think I was a liar, but you'd be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you're thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie like Flight of the Navigator. It's not real, but you're wrong. It is real. It is science. Okay, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just leave it there. Uh, if you want to uh, read the rest, go ahead and pause the video. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Alright, see what's under here. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Dear Ranger, Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? Address is 55 Foxrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably, probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Hmm. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Oh, has this been... it's been scorched, huh? Magical little place for a kid. Alright, back to the cave. Actually, wait. Can I go back this way? Wasn't there a steep drop that I, I don't think I can get up? Yeah, I don't think I can go back that way. Okay, let's see where this leads around to. try to kill me. I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. would be a nice kicker. Yeah, we're pretty invested at this point. For the mystery and for... Yeah, not going to jail. So it looks like we're pretty close to the cave, actually. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Oh. Well, that's a huge relief. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Here we go. So like, how did they relock it? Did they make a copy of the key? Who's that?
Crypto Castle. That's, uh, they're wearing the other shoe and missing one shoe. Find That's the one I saw up there. Foul. Ah. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Christ. It's, uh... It's grim, but... I need all the evidence I can get. Oh, that's... That is such a cool detail. You can step over the body instead of just, like... Walking over it, because, I mean, that's horrible. Did someone... Like... Did they, like, try to cover the head with rocks or something? Like a sort of super, super makeshift burial, or... Did it just fall onto him? I don't know. So that's why Ned suddenly left. And Brian never left. So, did Ned steal the key then, to make sure that no one else could come down here and find what had happened? was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Whoever is out there did it. They killed him. Can we just put this stupid shit aside for a minute? That boy is dead. He was just a sweet kid. They didn't kill him, okay? Why kill a boy? I don't know. What do we do now, D? I I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. 